Hi friends, welcome to Learn Entomology. Our today's topic is Metamorphosis in Insects. Metamorphosis, which is otherwise known as Metamorphogenesis, is nothing but a change in form or structure of an insect or any other animal during its normal development. There are different types of metamorphosis like A metabola, hemimetabola, parametabola, holometabola, and hypermetabola. Let us we discuss about these types in a brief and a simple manner. The first one is A metabola. These insects doesn't undergo any structural changes. For example, silverfish. They have three life stages, egg, juveniles and adults. The juveniles are physically similar to the adults in all aspects except the size and sexual maturity. Here you can see that the juveniles are looking similar to the adults. Okay. Next one is parametabola. The examples are cockroach and grasshopper. They have three life stages, eggs, nymphs and adult. Here you can see the adult of cockroach and the nymphs of cockroach. The both nymphs and adult share the similar habitat. The habitat is terrestrial and they both have the similar habit. The habit is nothing but they are eating a similar food. Okay. The wing development is external and the insects become larger after each molt and the size also gradually increases. So it is also known as the gradual metamorphosis. The next one is hemimetabola. The examples are dragonfly, damselfly, stonefly and mayfly. They have three life stages, eggs, naiads and the adults. Naiads are nothing but the aquatic nymphs. The naiads and adults have different habitats. The naiads are aquatic in habitat while the adults are terrestrial in habitat. In considering the habit, the naiads are aquatic predators and the adults are aerial predators. The next one is holometabola. The examples are butterflies, moths, flies and the bees. These insects have four life stages, eggs, larva, pupa and the adult. While you consider the butterfly, the larva are called as caterpillars. Their mouth parts and feeding habits are different from the adults. For example, the caterpillar of the butterflies have the mandibles and they feed on the plant leaves while the adults have the siphoning type of mouth parts and they feed on the nectar of the flowers okay and here the wing development is internal as they pupate the larva pupate first and then only the wings are developed inside the pupa and they came out as a winged adult okay and then the pupa the pupa is nothing but a non feeding stage where the larval tissues disintegrate and the adult organs are built up. The next one is hypermetamorphosis. Hyper means extra and the metamorphosis means morphological changes. Yes, here the extra morphological changes occur. The example is blister beetle. The blister beetle have an extra instar called as the triangulin which is the first instar of the blister beetle. Tri means three and the unjas means claw. Yes, the triangulin larvae possess three claws in their foot. Okay, while studying about the hypermetamorphosis, we must know about the two terms. The first one is heteromorphosis and the second one is planidium. Heteromorphosis is nothing but the larval instars which are functionally and morphologically distinct from each other. Okay, and then the planidium. It is the specialized form of first instar larvae. Here you consider the triangulin. Triangulin is a first instar larva which is specialized. Okay, then triangulin is a planidium. Okay. I hope you all understood the topic. Thank you, my dear friends. I will see you in an another interesting topic. Like and subscribe to Learn Entomology if you understood the today's topic. 
and don't forget to press the bell icon. Contact me at learnentomology at gmail.com.